Okay. Oh yeah, shoot. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so top secret this week, Lady Ada, what do you have? Okay, well, okay, so I've got, I still have the Pi 400 here. So I made this, um, hold on, let me get the Pi 400 out of the way. And then this is not plugged in. That's why it's not working. Hold on. It's super top hold secret. Hold on, so top secret, I forgot that I have to plug something in. It doesn't work without power, it turns out. Okay, so I'm thinking of doing some, like, a home automation board. I wanted to make a board that would work with, um... Oh, don't tell me this isn't working either. No. It wasn't on. Okay. Let's you can do it. Back there it up go. so we can see that it's okay. a house. So after being able to turn stuff on, it's got this little debugging cable here. Uh, so this is a, um, I want to make a board that's for like home automation that could work with um, Home Assistant or Raspberry Pi or on its own uh, to do like home automation projects. And we've done like IoT projects, but I want something that specifically was for interfacing with Home Assistant or like hue lights or like people who want to automate stuff around their house. Because I think a lot of people have been indoors a lot for the last couple of months and maybe they have projects that they were like, you know, I want to be notified when my dishwasher is done or when my cat comes in, you know, through the cat door or something. Um, so I made this little board and it's house shaped and we're going to design like a fun silk screen. This silk screen is like my stick figure quality. Um, it's got uh, our TFT screen here. It's got some buttons. Um, I'm playing around with capacitive touch for the first time. So this has a little capacitive touch slider. And um, still working on the design, but I think, I think the slider's okay. I mean, you don't get huge resolution, but it's enough that you could, like, turn something, you know, up to eight levels. And then there's um, two little cap touch buttons here, and then there's a little cap touch button here. And there's a LED, and there's, like, you can see there's five dot stars. I'm just, I'm just having them flicker random colors. Um, there's some sensors. Uh, I put a doorbell here. So this is the reset button. Um, but it's a doorbell. So I guess if you want to like ding dong, like wake up board, uh, you can hit that. And then uh, there's a little buzzer and on off switch and some sensors. And on the back, um, I got my ESP32 S2 and a bunch of socket connectors for sensors and STEM QT. There's actually not a lot going on in the back here because it's capacitive touch switches. You don't really want to have anything behind them. So that's why a lot of the PCB is bare, and it has this hatched silk screen. So, um, you know, what's cool is that we have ESP32-S2. It's native Wi-Fi support for um, CircuitPython. And I feel like with the MagTag, we really kind of nailed down getting Wi-Fi support for the S2. So I wanted to do some more um, products. I mean, I'm doing the feather boards. Those are coming out. But, you know, I've always wanted to have a home automation design. And um, here, here's a cool uh, trick that Phil B came up with after I designed it, he said, you know, it's basically the same size as a Raspberry Pi. So it actually is, even though it's like pointed up here, the envelope of it is the same size as a Raspberry Pi and the mounting holes are the same too. So you can even mount this on top of a Raspberry Pi to have this be your little accessory board um, cool. to work directly with it. Like it could act as a shield. It wouldn't plug in through the shield connector, it would plug in through USB, but it would still, like it would be able to plug in through the, the connectors. So yeah. it's not that yet, don't ask. Okay, that's top secret. Okay, I have a bunch of questions lined up, so we're going to speed around some, and we'll spend some time on some others.